Hey everyone, welcome to Stratelli Studios, and we are back with another one for our Sunday Classical. This is another request from my Powers of the Universe patron, Brian. Thank you so much for these. This is awesome. I love how you are guiding me through the, all of this wonderful classical music. Um, this is Klaus Tenstead and London Philharmonic Orchestra. This is Mahler's Symphony Number no. 8, Part 1. This was back in 1991. I'll be probably making comments throughout this video because this video is 27 minutes and 31 seconds. So instead of waiting to the end, I'll try to intersperse comments uh, and not get in the way because um, my brain won't have the capacity to <laughs> to keep all my comments, uh, you know, intact 27 minutes from now. So uh, we'll do it along the way and then I'll say some stuff at the end. So let's hit that play button. Here we go. Oh, wow. We got the choirs involved. This is going to be epic. Pretty big band, I'd say. They're really pushing it, pushing it out there. Wow, look at that pipe organ, holy smokes. drop. Beautiful decrescendo. You know, what's interesting about this is the fact that this has to be written in a way where those human voices can come through because they're in competition volume-wise with the other in the instruments in the, in, in the orchestra. So, you know, I don't see microphones or amplification there, you know. They might have some overhead mics. I haven't seen any yet, but... Um,
That's beautiful. Trying to allow you to see the subtitles when they come up. I love how the vocals were just suspended in midair right there because there was it was it was a cappella. There wasn't anything going on in the orchestra, at least that I could hear. And it sounded like the orchestra completely dropped out to let those vocals do their thing. That is some power. are amazing. I think that was first violin. This pitch is just freaking amazing.
You gotta have tubular bells in there, right? Those are some hard pits. Hard pits got oh boy. Oh man, those, those gels sound so good.
boys choir. Those low strings have this menacing quality to them. Bum, 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 That thing right there. It's disconcerting underneath these vocals. Yeah, now we hear the pipe organ coming back in. Which pretty much when the pipe organ comes in it takes over the room to me not in a bad way it's just that power
and Doctor wipes the sweat from his brow. <laughs> Nice combination. That's beautiful. Wow. All these twists and turns, you know, it's like you think it's just a normal phrase and then he has got this burr, weird note and then weird, you know, passages and stuff. Um, it's anything but more ordinary, you know, it's, it's, it's.
what an experience for these young boys to be a part of this. There's another conductor for the choir up there. I think that took a year off his life. Man. Oh my gosh, how amazing is that? Boy, we are capable of amazing things as humans, aren't we? Boy, um, you know, I was thinking about the choirs in this as, as I watched it, and I was thinking about the fact that you know, they've got the, the men's side of the choir, the men's choir, and the women's choir, and the boys' choir. And, uh, you know, the duties of um, the women's choir and the boys' choir is to be able to, you know, hit those higher notes and the men's down there, you know, in the lower register. And, you know, you might ask yourself, well, you know, I think uh, the women could hit pretty high notes, you know, is it redundant to have, you know, a boy's choir and a woman's choir? It's absolutely not. Um, the timbre and the quality of a boy's choir is very different than the women's choir. It's the sound of it is very different. It has different feeling to it, a different sound. Um, and, there are things with a boys choir that you can't not do with a women's choir just in the in in the sound of it and it's it's a very unique sound with the boys choir um there are probably other reasons but those, those are the ones that come to mind um they spared no expense for this i mean you know when you look at it it's like you know to do this smaller piece it's like okay well we're going to need a full orchestra. We're going to need three choirs. We're going to need a pipe organ. We're going to need all the percussion. We're going to need all the, you know, we're going to need all, all the brass and all the strings and everything to accomplish a piece of music like this, this, this symphony number no. eight in E flat. It's, it is just mind boggling to pull this off. It's a major, major event to do this. Um, and, Klaus conducting, um, you, you have to be a master in order to pull this off. You really do. I don't know much about Klaus Tenstedt, but, um, you know, by watching this, you, you know he's a master at what he does. Um, but this is a pretty unbelievable spectacle. Um, I wonder what it must have been like to be sitting in that audience to experience the full power of this um absolutely amazing wow um well if you made it to the end you're awesome you're awesome uh you have a ability to comprehend a lot you know so you probably are not on tiktok a lot if you made it to the end <laughs> if you know what i mean <laughs> short video short 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 um oh thank you so much there's a couple of remarkable things coming up uh requested by uh, Brian, I, I just sent him a message, um, I think it was yesterday, and I caught a glimpse of one of his requests, and it was totally, totally a 180 from this, and I was like, whoa, I was so totally surprised, and I, I so loved what he requested, so you're going to have to stick around for this. It's not going to be on a Sunday because it's not a classical piece. But I, I was blown away by what it was. So um, stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy your wonderful end of the week. And um, 
if you're watching this on any other day than Sunday, uh, you know, that's great too. Um, it's good to take a few minutes aside from your work schedule and responsibilities. You know, if you take care of people or, or whatever, or even taking care of yourself, just to, to carve some time, just to sit, watch something like this and relax is so incredibly important for your mental health. <laughs> okay. Believe me, believe me. Um, yes. Ah, oh, an exercise. Okay. I could go on and on about that. Um, that'll be for another video. Um, but, um, yeah, spend some time letting your brain just relax and uh, be active with your body. Okay. We will see more and come back for more and enjoy more with me. All right. See you next time. Bye.